My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are gathered here this moment to lay to rest our dearly beloved brother who has just departed this sinful world. For it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, judgment. God, you called your son from this world. Father of our mercy, fulfill his faith and hope in you, and lead him safely to heaven to be happy with you forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> dust to dust. Ashes to ashes. Is Jana still sleeping? Yes, ma. I mean, I said she no one disturb us. Mm. She been locked up the time I want to give her medicine, and she never wake. Since when? Since morning. Hey, my God. <laughs> Put that in the office, eh? Janet! Janet! Please, darling, open the door. Please, open the door. Janet! Janet, please! Eshe baba, eshe kupo, eshe gong, eshe. Ah, open the switches. Ah, until until this thing will happen, so not be switches. So this thing will happen, so now sadges, very sour sadges. Is there anybody sick or something? Ah, sick. If there's a person sick, it's better. This thing will happen, so now it pass sickness. Now serious thing, now it happen. What is this serious thing? Bad thing, bad. If you want to tell me something, you tell me and stop beating about the bush now. Eh, bush ke? Auntie, this will not be bush matter. This one a bad thing. Now person I die. Human beings. Oh it dies. Who died? Who he don't died? die, finish. Oh, he don't... Auntie, Auntie. Eh? Auntie Tony, I think not tell Lucas in a little bit of Ah, oh, Tonya! Who, who died? 
Who told you? Who told anybody that? Yes, Daddy. Um, Daddy. Dad, who died? Yes, Sister Janet. Who died now? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm 
looking for you. Thanks. You read your work. Hey, Bye. Have a nice day. We will. So this is going to be the most beautiful night in our life. The most memorable too. What is going to make it that way? You'll find it in just a minute. I can't wait to tell. Will you marry me? A marriage proposal in the bar? <laughs> Larry, come on. Honey. I can't wait any longer to have you permanently in my life. Mm, I can't wait till, honey. So the sooner we get things done, the better. I'll see. Right. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's never too late. We're always there for each other. Jen, I love you so much. So more than what will I see. Mm, I love you too, Larry. Birthday party tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a pity! I've not been able to attend the all-night party. I have this case in court tomorrow, and I just have only tonight to work on it. Jamie, why have you turned so timid? I mean, you don't socialize anymore. Look, you don't have to stay at the party all night. Just go there and register your presence. You can be sure Kate will be very glad. You're not listening to me. If I go to that party, I'll not be able to work on this. No, please. <laughs> Just know that Kate will forgive you if you don't attend. I'll buy her a beautiful present. I'm sure she'll be very happy with that. <laughs> that one is between the two of you. Okay. As for me, I must be there to enjoy myself. Meanwhile, I heard TJ, the guy I've been dying for, is going to be there live. TJ? Isn't isn't that the minister's son? Of course. Ahaha, ha, then tonight is your you night. <laughs> oh um, dear. I'd better get back to work. Okay, don't be late. <laughs> Madam, there is a gentleman waiting at the reception. Is he one of our clients? No, he is new. He says it's important he sees you. Tell him to come in. Don't be late, don't be late. Of course, let me just find this. Uh, Hello. Oh, I must say, I wasn't expecting to meet a woman. I'm impressed all the same. My name is George. Welcome, Mr. George. I'm Jaina. This is my friend, Elma Brick. Nice meeting you, sir. Pleasure. Uh, Run along now. Jaina, don't forget our appointment. Tomorrow. Okay, have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Um, can I be of any assistance to you, Mr. George? Certainly, yes. I, I have been searching for a very good lawyer who knows his or her onions in family law because I have a problem. Mm. Now that you've found one, shall we look into your problem? Yes. My problem has to do with the custody of my son. You're divorced? Yes, I've been divorced for a year now. And the custody of my son was given to the mother. Why do you seek child custody after a year? Because my ex-wife does not have anything to offer the little boy in terms of morals. Why do you think so? Because she abandons the boy at will. There have been four occasions I've visited the house and found my son with the house help only at home. And it goes on for weeks and weeks like that. I need a legal process to get my son back. Where do they live? They live in Port Harcourt. What does your wife do? She doesn't have a job. All she does is get money from men, I guess. What do you do? Well, uh, I'm a banker. 
Considering the nature of your job, do you think you'll have enough time to look after the child? Well, first things first, I intend to put him in a good boarding school. And whenever he's on vacation, I'll take him to stay with my mother who lives here in Lagos. And I'll find time to see him from time to time. Well, that's rather cool, but fair enough alternative, considering what we have on the ground. I think everything will work out. I'll be very pleased because I want my son back. Okay. By the way, are you planning to remarry? No, not so soon. I haven't even recovered from the shock of the first one. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, are you married? No. Why? Nothing much. Uh, just considering your beauty, your youth, and your success. One should expect that you should be married. Oh, well. Don't mind me, I'm only just being inquisitive. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I suffer the same fate as you. I lost my fiance two weeks to our wedding. Oh, what a pity. Oh. I'm sure God will give you the heart to bear the loss. Thank you. Um, and don't let it affect you. If everything will work out fine, just take it easy. Yeah? Uh, so do we have an appointment for, say... Uh... Yeah, in the next two weeks, I think we should be able to um, put all the facts together and put the case in court. Thank you very much. I should be leaving now. All right. This is taking forever. I didn't think we were going to take this long. I need to get my son back. Not to worry. In a few weeks, we should be able to wrap everything up. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure about that, okay? All right, I have an appointment to catch up with. I'll see you later. Thank you. I never knew you were so good at the bar. Thank you. But um, I never expected that kind of behavior from your wife. She's a mad woman, I told you. Do not get in. Just ignore her. Why don't we have dinner together tonight? No, I'm sorry. That will not be possible. Why? You dating somebody else? No, no, I'm not, except I'm just very busy. So, why? <laughs> Actually, um, night times are the only times I have to work on my cases, so really. But you could fix me in somehow. I'm sorry, can I help you? Well, I wanted you to celebrate with me tonight. I'm sorry, that will not be possible. Okay, if you say so. So how do we see? Um, lunchtime tomorrow. Good. Then we'll have lunch tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Briggs, please. Hello, Thelma. How are you? Yes, I heard you came to look for me earlier on. Yeah, I'm sorry I was out. I went for lunch with a friend. Take a wild guess. Of course it's George. <laughs> oh, yes, I know it's unethical to date my client, but Thelma... It's true, but you know, I must say he's a very nice guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a great lunch. Listened to him properly. I took a good look at him. And you know what? He just reminds me of Larry. And 
I get I start getting these feelings for him, you know. Yeah, he's taking me out this weekend. Oh, tell me I'm so happy I can laugh again. <sighs> yeah. Maybe. I think I like him very much. Yeah. Thank you for a wonderful evening. I did have a nice time. I must also say thank you. I'm quite honored and glad that you agreed to spend the weekend with me. May I offer you tea or coffee? Uh, no, thank you. I'll just um, take a shower and grab some sleep. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I think I need a shower too. <laughs> but first, let me help my queen. George, put me down. Come on. I'm giving my queen a helping hand. <laughs> I'm really happy, you know. I would live with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. to see you. What? I want to pick the rest of my things from the bedroom. No, 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 not now, not now. Maybe later, not now. Look, George, if you don't want to create a scene here, just allow me to go upstairs. No, you can't go upstairs. Excuse me. Oh. I trust you would have a woman in here. You feel the Casanova. Felicia, don't upset my guest. Please get out of my bedroom. Shut up! I am not getting out until I pick my things. Your things are no more here. Check with the gate man. Gate man? George, you mean you left my things with the gate man? You irresponsible fool. You ingrate. Well, let me tell you. You won't get away with this. I'll definitely get back to you. And as for you, I'll teach you a lesson. I'm sorry, she's just an old friend. She wouldn't let me be. Um, I think I should leave. No, 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 no. No, darling. No, please. She won't come here again. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. It's so violent. I'm sorry about the embarrassment. I'm sorry. Please. Oh, 
this girl. Uh-uh. That's not gonna make person yeah. knock door anyhow. <laughs> I talk I'm saying that you didn't knock it like that. You won't break them. <laughs> By the way, why you can't stay for market like that? Which one be your own? Why you can't stay like that? No be that Auntie Jeanette's new friend while I see why they greet. Eh? 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 Auntie Jeanette? Ah, wait. Too. So Auntie Jeanette don't really get another husband, maybe like that. Ah, me I happy for Ramu. <laughs> she be, you know, say she don't she be a really good woman. And she don't tell where where before she can't get this husband. Me, I really happy for Ramu. Mr. Fa happy for Ramu. Ah, ah, who not go happy for Ramu? Yeah, but I don't like this man where she finds so. Eh? Eh? He be me like say the man go sabi play woman while you were well. Wait till you talk. Wait till you sabi where they talk, sir. Wait till you sabi where they talk. Eh? Wait till you sabi. Eh? You, sabi? Eh? you see better person like that than you they come and say that you are human. Wait till you know. I don't talk him. I don't talk and say your sense no correct at all at all. Eh? Sense? Your sense no correct at all at all. The thing where you go chop don't blind you finish. You don't blind you pata pata. She not because this man they give you small small money. Uh -huh. eh? Now he uh -huh. make you like and so. Uh -huh. I don't blame uh -huh. you. Tell me. Why I not go like person where they do me better? I be the je oh ho! I don't talk and before say the jealous is my job. Wow. I don't say the jealous is my job. <laughs> yes, the jealous is my job. <laughs> what did they make you laugh? Like? See person with a jealous job. Make I ask you, if person want jealous job, now get man job person go jealous. No, well, make you just take your time, oh, yeah. and shut up that your dirty oh, oh, mouth. Oh, oh. Make you just shut worried. up that your mouth. You don't start worrying that. For a poor woman, go cook for her job. Agnes, where's the orange juice? Yeah, dear. Thank you, my dear. Uh, have you noticed Janet is gloomy? Oh, yes. <laughs> I have. And I am happy for her. Did she tell you anything? Yes. She said she met a man she really, really likes. Oh, good. <laughs> what does he do? He is a banker. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope he's not married. No. Mm -hmm. He's not married. Single. <laughs> Cleanly divorced. No problem. A divorcee. divorcee. Oh, yes. Cleanly. That's not good enough. What does she want with the divorcee? Look, she likes him, and that is all that matters. <laughs> How many children does he have? One. A boy. <clears throat> no. What? My daughter will be the one to have any man's first child. Eh? <laughs> In this house, God over my dead body. She will not marry anybody that already has a child. Let her look well. Why are you like this? This girl needs happiness. She has been unhappy for a very long time. Now that she's her old self again, let her be. The only thing that matters is her happiness. She is my daughter too. And nobody wants her happiness more than I. But I do not agree with her in this. Please calm down. Nothing will go wrong. Just let her be. I cannot see what is wrong and call it right because I do not want to see her cry. Now look here, woman. Just let her be. Be true. He just called my office and asked me to come over. George is not in town. 
And um, who might you be if I may ask? Where I am? <laughs> Interesting. Having just told you about me, Gigi, for your information, I is famous, the love of his life. So if you don't mind, please leave. And don't ever come back here again. Please cancel all appointments. I'm too busy today. I can't see anybody. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, can I help you, mother? I want to see your mother. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see her today. She's too busy. I said you I want to see your mother now. She's too busy. Excuse me, madam. You can't see her. Excuse me. Please. I am you? here to warn you. Uh, and you had better you listen very carefully. Why did you let her into my office? I did not, madam. She pushed me off her way. You can go. What do you want? Stay off, George. He is my husband. He is just chasing likes of you to satisfy his bony lust. If I ever catch you with him again... <laughs> it's only water. Next time you lose your face. Janet in? Uh, yes, Janet, they in. But she don't give me instructions, say, make her not allow you to enter. I'm not going to feel good. Welcome, Oga. Hi, your families. Mm. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Eh? Eh? Uh, oh, think, let me enter, okay. sir. Thank you, sir. Eh, okay, you are going. Uh, uh, if I can't allow you to enter, I will contact him and say, you enter now. Let me go in first. We'll talk about the rest later. Uh, Oga, uh, now because now you, now because they give me family support too, I know they do this kind of cambia courses. Listen, I will tell Janet I forced my way no, in. No, 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 tell her say you forced your way. Tell her say now first you jump, enter. nothing you will say that will convince me, so please just leave. Let me explain to you. <coughs> I said I don't want to listen. Use the door, call the police. Please, why are you so angry? Listen, believe me, sweetheart, when I tell you I have nothing to do with those two women, they just framed me up. <coughs> oh, yeah? You're just a liar. What do you think before? Some kind of fool? All you ever want to do is to get under the shade with girls. Janet, what is it? Who is bothering you? But if we still tell this man to get out of here. Young man. You heard her. Please leave. I don't want anyone bothering my daughter. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, leave! how you feel. 
Losing judge is not the end of the world, please. How can I trust everybody? How can I trust anybody after now? How can I give my heart to anybody after now? Jane, <laughs> Jane, don't talk like this. Don't please, you ever give up, me. please. Believe the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come at 29. Shouldn't I be married? Shouldn't I be at least in a married man relationship? I mean, why is this happening to me? It's enough. It's okay. <laughs> I do know it's sad, but don't think about it like this. Janet, please, everything will be all right. I don't think you know what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't think you know what I mean. Look at you. You're getting married in two weeks to someone you love. Why am I so unfortunate? No, you're not unfortunate. <laughs> Count my luck as the beginning of yours. I just believe you'll get married, and very soon. Please. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Then look at it on the surface. The problem your first daughter Janet has, <laughs> it's not the type to wave aside. It's not. Dora. What am I going to do? <sighs> we'll leave here everything in God's hands. He will certainly take care of things. And haven't you heard that heaven helps those who help themselves? Flora, what am I going to do about these nightmares? Eh? I will do anything in this world to see my daughter get married. I have been going to other people's uh, children's weddings. When will they come to mine? Ah. I am so... This is not a problem one can overlook. The earlier we seek for the help of our ancestors, the better. Yes. Our ancestors? How, how do we go about that? Tomorrow, prepare to go and see the wise one with me. He is a strong and gifted man. He sees beyond the ordinary. And he would definitely tell us where the problem lies. The wise one. I don't understand. <laughs> oh my God. When we get there tomorrow, you will see. Soon be here. So put your heart where it belongs, not your mom. Okay. You are welcome, my daughter. What can I do for you? Wise one. It is you who have come to see. Thank you for the honor. And I know that a toad does not go about if something is not pursuing it or it's pursuing something. Hmm. Thank you, wise man. We brought the problem of our daughter. This is my friend. 
and her first daughter has problems with her relationships with men. The first man she ever had anything to do with died two weeks to their wedding. And the second man she met left her only for a So we now looked critically into this situation and decided to consult an elder who is wiser than us and sits ahead of us. And that is you, wise one. I see. Oh, I'm really honored. I've heard all you have said. It's of great importance. And I'm happy you have come to me to seek for help. Now, what is the name of this girl? What is her age? What does she do? Her name is Janet. She's a lawyer, and she's 29. Oh, Janet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Janati. Janati Bugui Bugui. Janati Bugui. No, yeah, Machukuli, Machukuli, or you were on the phone over or she left here. Ah, Janati Bugui Bugui. Hey, Janati Bugui. Woo! Hmm. This is a very complicated case. Why is one? What is the problem? Ah. I see wickedness. Great wickedness. I see curses around it. It is coming from a distance. Ah. Difficult. Very difficult. Ah. It is coming from beyond. Why is one? Please, tell us this thing in plain language. We are babies. Feed us this information in the language we understand. Please. My daughters, I cannot hide my tongue in my cheeks. I will tell you everything. <laughs> but before then, put down some money to appease the oracle. Uh, wise one, how, how much? Anything your heart tells you. Put it in the middle of those pebbles. Hmm. Ah. You see? There's somebody behind your daughter's misfortune. Hmm. Oh, poor girl. And she's innocent. Your daughter is innocent. The curse was placed upon her head even long before she was born. Ha. Huh. Its root has something to do with somebody from, from your husband's family. Hmm, she's older than your husband. A woman of substance, strong in the things of fetishism. Huh? Only your husband can tell you what happened between them, what went wrong between them. Only your husband can tell you. That description can only fit my husband's um, elder sister. There are only two of them. They are from different um, mothers. Mama Vero. Is she the one? Well, if you say that my description fits her, then she could be the one. Oh, hmm. Wise one, please, what do we do? Hmm. Go home to your husband. Ask him to tell you what happened between them. Hmm. And if she's still alive, your husband has to go and beg her. But that is not all. Your daughter has to go through a bath. Yes, a spiritual bath. And so that we can cleanse her from all the curses. OK. You must do all I have told you to do. I don't know why the oracle says you should do all these things. And you must do them quick. Wise one, we'll do it very quickly. Thank you, wise one. Thank you. Thank you. 